Hello Rail fans, and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, we're going to be building the Spacey Rail MLW M420 locomotive. And this is a Canadian manufactured locomotive made by the Montreal Locomotive Works. And this is what it looks like here. So let's get right into the build. So as usual, we're going to start with the rear coupler. So take out a dark oak stair and attach it up. Under it, a sideways dark oak bench gate. Then on the next block forward, on the bottom middle, three polish andesite blocks and an upside down polish andesite stair facing outward on either side. Then five polish andesite across the top. Come in front of it and do a three block tall T-shape in the center and put a torch on either side of the second layer. In front of that, we'll do a five by three of polish andesite coming out to each side of the tracks. Then we'll put three polish andesite slabs coming up this side gap here in the middle and then three on this side. Then we'll do three on this top middle back here. Then we're going to come down on bottom back here and open a dark oak fence gate above each rail. Then we'll do two end rods here and two end rods here and on this top middle up here three dark oak fence gates. Then come in front of this on bottom and put a fence gate above each rail. On the next block board in the middle, do a chiseled polished blackstone, then a blackstone brick slab, a fence gate, a blackstone brick slab, and another chiseled polished blackstone. Then take netherite for the wheels, one here and here. Same thing on this side. Then put a fence gate on the end of either of these two wheels. Then we're going to come through and put a hopper on the side of all four of the wheels. Then crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper. And same thing on this side, one on each of these hoppers. Then we're going to take out lightning rods and in this gap between the wheels here above the rail, do three sideways lightning rods on either side. Then take out polished andesite block again, come up on this top middle and do a line up to these fence gates up the center. Then on both sides of that, we're going to do a full line of dark oak fence gates here. Then we're going to come on bottom in front of it with polish andesite block again. And we're going to go three wide on the bottom middle and start bringing that down. And we're going to make that 11 blocks long. So a three by 11. Then put a full row of upside down polish andesite stairs on the side of it. And a full row of upside down stairs on this side. Then on this second layer of the fuel tank, go back here with polish andesite again and go three wide in the middle and bring it up to the front of this fuel tank. Then in front of this, we're going to leave three empty blocks of space and on the fourth block forward from it, put a chiseled polished black stone on this bottom middle. So there's three blocks of space between there. Then in front of this, a black stone brick slab, a fence gate, a black stone brick slab and a chiseled polished black stone. Then put another right wheel here and here, one here and one here. Then a fence gate on the ends of these wheels and a fence gate on the ends of these wheels. Then put three lightning rods above this rail, three on this side. Then come through and put a hopper on the side of all four wheels. Then we'll crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper. And same thing on this side over here. Then come up top again with polish andesite and start on this top middle here and do a line up the middle till you're aligned with these fence gates. Then a full row of dark oak fence gates up here. Come over here and a full row of dark oak fence gates on this side as well. Then come in front of this with polished andesite and we'll do a 5 by 3 coming out to each side of the tracks. In front of that a 3 black tall T-shape in the middle and put a torch on either side of the second layer. On the bottom middle in front of that 3 polished andesite stairs and an upside down stair facing outward on either side of it. 
On the next layer, a block in the middle and two upside down stairs on either side of that. Then three polished andesite slabs on this top middle, three coming up this side gap for stairs, and three on this side. Then take out a dark oak stair for the front coupler, turn around, and stack it up to this middle second block. Under it a fence gate, then open a fence gate above each rail. Then two end rods here, and two end rods here. Then on this top middle, three dark oak fence gates up here. Now on this side, we're going to come to the back of the spiel take, and we're going to do five sideways anvils up here. In front of it, we're going to do a mangrove sign and a mangrove button. Then come just in front of the fuel tank on this bottom outside edge and put two string down here. Then do a line of six anvils so two of them come across over that string. Then on the other side of the fuel tank, we're just going to do a full line of polish and a side up here. And then we're going to put a sign and a button on the side here. Now we're going to come and stand up here on top of this. And we're going to crouch and put a single stone brick slab on top of all four of these hoppers. And we'll repeat it for the back truck. So come up here, crouch, and a single slab on top of all four of these ones. Then move one hitbox down and do one here and one here. Same thing on this side. Then come out here and put one slab on this bottom middle. And then same thing over here. Then we're going to take out iron trap doors. Put three iron trap doors here. And three here. Then above this inner wheel, closest to the fuel tank, put a skeleton skull above the wheel on each side. Come up here and crouch and put a lightning rod here in here. Then we're going to repeat it for this front truck. So come up here, put a stone brick slab here and here. Same thing on this side. Then come out on this side and get one on this bottom middle. Same thing on this side. Then three iron trap doors here, three here. Then a skeleton skull above this inner wheel closest to the fuel tank. And same thing on the other side. Then we're going to crouch and put a lightning rod here and here. Then we'll come up on this third layer on the top middle and we're going to fill the middle three with polished andesite block and we're going to bring that all the way down across the top right down to the other end of the locomotive here. Just like that. Then we're going to take out warp slabs on the upper hitbox here and do a full line of warp slabs coming all the way across the top of here. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. On the upper hitbox, a full line of warp slabs up here going end to end on this side. And now the bottom's done and we'll come up front. So we're going to come on top of the front on the third block back from the end and do two rows of five white concrete and then three on the top middle. Then we'll come behind it, put a blue concrete on each side, then a white concrete above it. Then two red nether brick stairs here facing outward, two here, and three red concrete across this middle. Then we'll cover the top of this in red carpet, and then we need to make some banners. So we're going to come into a loom with a white banner and red dye, and we're going to do this diagonal. Then do a white banner and blue dye and make the bottom half blue. We're going to put the white and blue one on the side right here and on this side here. Then come all the way across the front with these diagonal ones and then one here and one here leaving the top middle open like that. Then on the bottom of each side behind it we're going to do five blue shulker boxes. Above that five white concrete on each side. And above that, we'll do a white concrete in all four corners and three blue concrete on the middle of each side. Above that, a red concrete in all four corners, then three black stained glass panes on the middle of each side, 
then one stained glass pane here and here, and a red concrete in the middle. Then we're gonna take out white stained glass pane, put one on the side here, and here. And I actually forgot about the doors back here, so we're gonna take out these two blocks and these two on this side. Behind it on the bottom of each side, two blue shulker boxes, and then we'll put a white concrete in each corner with a ladder here and a ladder here. Then we're gonna take out a door, put a door going sideways right here, then turn this way and a door going this way. Repeat it on this side, so this, this door, then a backward door right here. Then we're gonna come on top and put five red nether brick stairs facing outward across the top here, and then five on this side facing outward. Then we'll fill the whole middle of this cab roof with red concrete, like that. Then we need to make a banner, so we're going to come into a loom with a white banner and red dye and make the top half red. Then we're going to come on the side here and crouch, put the red and white one over this side door and the plain white banner under it, and that hides that door from the side view. Then repeat it on this side, so crouch and put the red and white banner over the door and a white banner right underneath it. Then we're gonna come on top of the front in the very middle here and put a bell right here. Then we're gonna come on top and crouch and get a mangrove fence gate above the bell. Turn this way and open it going this way and a sideways fence gate behind it for the horn. On the back middle of the cab, put a lever right here. Now come down to the rear end and we're gonna come on top of the back on the third block in in the middle, do three blue concrete in the middle, then two layers of three white, and a layer of red, red concrete in the middle, and a red stained glass paint on either side of the top. Then a blue concrete on either side in front of it, then two white, then two red on each side, and one red on that top middle. Now we're gonna come in front of this on the bottom middle with bedrock blocks and do a line of six bedrock coming forward, make it two blocks tall. Then in this corner, put a warp stair and a white concrete above it. Then we're gonna grab a jungle trap door for our brake wheel and close that right here. In front of this, we're gonna do a blue concrete on bottom and a white concrete above it. Then a two by two of deep slate tile walls. Then we're gonna put two warp stairs here and two upside down smooth court stairs here. Then bring a line of white concrete to the front of this on top. Then come to the other side. Then this side is slightly different than the other side. We're gonna start on the bottom back corner of this bedrock with deep slate tile walls. And we're gonna do two layers of three walls coming forward from the back. Then in front of it, we're gonna put two warp stairs like this, two upside down smooth court stairs above them. In front of that, a blue concrete and a white concrete. Then a line of white concrete on the top to the front of this, and then a single line of red concrete on either side of the top, like that. Next, we'll come up at the very top of the middle with red concrete and do a line of red concrete right down the middle to the front of this. Then up here, we're gonna take deep slate tile slabs, do five of them, and then five on this side then a red concrete on each front corner. Then we're gonna take red stained glass panes across the side of these slabs and one on the back red concrete and the front. Repeat it on this side. So start here with red stained glass panes and come up to the front of this. Then on the bottom in front of this, we're gonna do a line of blue concrete coming forward till you're aligned with this back door on either side. Just like that. Then come up behind the cab and get two white concrete here, two here. Behind it in the middle, a two by two of bedrock blocks. Like this. Then we're gonna put two smooth court stairs going this way on each side, turn around and two going the other way here and here. Then behind that on each side, we're gonna put two layers of white concrete and bring it all the way down to the back on each side.
Above that, we'll do a single layer of red concrete coming down the top of each side. Right up to the front here. Then on the top, middle, we'll do a line of red concrete down the center. So it looks like that. Now we're going to come on top of the front on this side, put three red concrete up here. Then we're going to change this middle block to bedrock and put an iron bar on either side of it. Then behind it on this side, a sideways observer, skip one another observer, red concrete in the middle with a mangrove side. Then we're going to come to the back and we're going to change this middle block and this one to bedrock put an iron bar on either side of it on both sides. Then come to this side and fill all these gaps with red concrete. Then we'll come over here, copy your pattern of observers over, and fill all the gaps up here with red concrete. Just like that. Then we'll come up here on the top middle and we're going to put a daylight sensor in the center here and behind it a full line of mango trap doors to the back on the middle. Then up here we're going to start on this block and bring mangrove trap doors forward till it's right before that bedrock. Then we'll come on top of the front and anywhere we haven't built something we're going to cover everything else up here with red carpet. And then come down each side of this get in between here and around this. Then come back here, one red carpet here and here. Now we're going to take out blue carpet here and we're going to come behind this shulker box and do a full line of blue carpet to the back down this walkway. Then on this back end do a pattern like this and we're going to change this middle block to blue wool. Then we'll come around to the front of this side and we're going to add three blue shulker boxes on the front and then a full line of blue carpet across here. Just like that. Then we're going to come up front and do a T-shape of carpet on the front porch. Next, we're going to do our railing, so take out a spruce fence. And right here on the front, we're going to come up by four. Then here, we're going to come up three and over one, and a two by two up here. Copy it on this side, so here up four, here, up three, over one, and a two by two up here. Then a chain across this gap. Then we're gonna repeat that at the back. So back here, right here, come up four. Here, come up three, over one, and a two by two up here. Same thing on this side, here, come up four. Here, come up three, over one, and a two by two up here. Then a chain on this gap. Then we're going to switch to warp fence and connect it up right here and start bringing it forward up this walkway. When we get right here, we're going to come up one over one, up one over one. Then we'll do the other side. So come to the back on this side with your warp fence, connect it up right here and start bringing it forward. When we get right here, we're going to come up one then over to here, then up one, over one. So it's like that. Now we'll detail the front end, so come up here with a glow item frame. We're going to put one down in this corner with a frog light, and one on this side with a frog light. Then one on the middle of the nose here with a frog light. On either side of this bell up here, we're going to put a dark oak sign with our number 644. Same thing on this side. Hit them both with white dye and a glowing sack. Then we'll come and detail the rear end. So swing down to the back end here. Back here on this top middle, we'll do a glow item frame with a frog light. Then on either side of it, a dark oak sign with 644. Hit them both with white dye and a glow ink sack. Then on this bottom middle, open a warp fence gate, then two birch fence gates above it, and then above that we need a mangrove fence gate, 
right here. Then come down here and put a glow item frame here and here with frog lights. Now we'll do the interior. So come on inside the cab here and we'll throw some frog lights down in the bottom for hidden lighting. Then take smooth stone slabs at the same level of the door and fill this all in. And then fill in double slabs under the window here. Then in the middle, another right with two levers. Then up here, do a glow item frame with a compass. Turn around and put a stair on either side for seats. And then in this back metal, two blast furnaces to fill in the hole. And now the interior is done and we'll come back outside. Now we're going to make some banners. So come in a loom, white banner and red dye, a vertical on either side, horizontal on the top and bottom, and the middle. New banner. Vertical on the left, horizontal on top, horizontal on bottom. Go to white dye and put a white border around each of these letter banners. And then we're going to come and place these on the side of the locomotive for the logo. And we'll actually start on this side over here, come up under this iron bar, and use the banners on the white concrete to put BC. Then we'll do the other side here. On this side, we're gonna put it right here and put BC. Then we can clear those, and we're gonna come back into a loom with a white banner and blue dye this time. Make the top half blue, vertical on the left, diagonal. New banner, vertical on either side, horizontal on the middle and the top. New banner vertical in the middle. New banner, vertical on the left, horizontal on bottom. Then go to white dye and put a white border around all four of these banners. And then we'll come place these. So we're gonna skip one block over from the red banners and spell out rail. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. Skip one block over from this and spell out rail. Then we have one more banner to make for the unique window pattern on the front. We're gonna come in with a black banner and red dye. Put a red border on and then make the bottom half white. And this is for the front. So one goes here and one goes here. And there we have it folks. We've completed our BC Rail Montreal Locomotive Works M420 locomotive. I hope everyone enjoyed this build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.